Hi. I just want to say thank you. Thank you everyone for watching our last video. We really appreciate it and thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you. We didn't expect the responses that we got, but we appreciate everything. We appreciate all of you. Thank you again. And what she was trying to say, she really appreciate all the response that we got from the last video that we put up. Seemed like it started a firestorm on YouTube in the comments section. But, you know, we really appreciate that. We appreciate the negative and we appreciate the positive. It's just something that we felt that we have to share, meaning knowing that I'm married to a Filipino woman. And, um, you know, she educate me a lot on her country and a lot of the things that's actually going on over there. And, you know, people's preference. You know, we're not trying to say that all Filipinos are like that. You know, there's a lot of Filipinos out there who are... Um, who are looking for some good brothers trust me they re they really they really are a lot of them i have a few friends here in las vegas women who are very professional that's looking for good brothers but it's just that they just they're just not hanging in the right place to meet those brothers and just like the brothers are not hanging in the right place to meet those um those um females anyway hopefully you guys enjoy the video anything you got to say before you go to work babe Thank you once again, and please don't forget to like and subscribe and continue supporting our channel. Enjoy the video that's coming. All right, people. Enjoy. So, let's get started. Hopefully, everybody's having a good day, man. Today's another beautiful day out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, come on the journey with me while I um, introduce you to myself and my wife. But first off, again, I really want to thank all the new subscribers that we have received from our last previous video. Um, we really appreciate it very much. I know my wife's um, said it and she really mean it. She really do appreciate you guys um, coming along for the ride with us um, on our channel. But here's what we going to be actually talking about today. I know you guys probably wanted to know, you know, who we are and um, how we met and what we do. So I'll go first. You know, this was just a ride coming down from um, the upper portion of Summerlin. I had just left the patient home and now I'm on my way over to the east side of town, Hollywood and Sahara, to see three other patients in that region. But yes, you know, what I actually do, I work as a home care occupational therapist. You know, I go from home to home all over the valley, treat patients in their home, try to make their lives better, you know, make sure that the environment is a lot safer for them to be at home. Um, just work on different things. You know, mostly with OT, we work with a lot of functional activities, Reteaching patients how to redress themselves, how to get in and out of bed safely, how to get in and out of the shower, get off the toilet safety, safely. Um, work on some balance activities, you know, because of course you're going to need some good balance if you're going to be standing, um, dressing yourself, or if you're going to be standing um, at the bathroom sink, performing self-grooming skills such as brushing your teeth combing your hair, washing your face, that type of stuff. Also, you're definitely going to need your balance if you're standing in the kitchen, um, learning how to prepare meals, and, you know, little simple things like that. So just that's just a little quick rundown as far as what we do. We also do a lot of strengthening exercises, you know. Um, try to do some upper body strengthening exercises to increase strength and endurance. Some patients do have limited range of motion, so we would actually do different type of exercises to help the patient improve their range of motion so they can be independent and um, taking care of themselves. You know, I don't want to bore you guys with too much of that. And um, my wife, my wife work as a registered nurse. You know, she um, used to do home care, but it's something that she don't like. And to be honest with you, I am happy that my wife is not going in and out of people home. You know, you can you get some crazies out here sometimes. My wife currently work at one of the hospitals here in um, Las Vegas. You know, she does her 12-hour um, shift every three days. And then sometimes if she wants to um, 
work an extra day, then she'll do four four days of 12-hour shifts. So, you know, that's what we do. That's what our background is. We're more into um, the caring of, of people. That's just the type of people that we really are. Um, we, we started YouTube when the pandemic came about. I didn't know much about YouTube. I was just bored, and I, I just wanted to... Um, Try something just to put up some videos, um, just to give me something to do, learning how to edit, learning how to upload, you know, different things like that. Um, so that's how I actually we actually got started in, in YouTube. And think I think this was back in um, 2020, you know, when the pandemic was really as at its, at its peak. So um, that's what we really do. Um, you know, we just kind of do YouTube for fun. Um, we just post whenever we feel like it. Um, I never expected I was going to get the response that we have gotten from, you know, that video that we put up about, you know, why Filipinos don't date black men. It, it was just an honest answer, honest conversation with me and my wife, you know, because this is something that, you know, we sat down and we talk about, you know, she would she would teach me about the things that happened in the Philippines. As you can see, my wife is she is what you would consider to be a white Filipino. And, you know, she would tell me how things are. Um, she benefited from a lot of that um, that stereotype. She was it was easier for her to get work. Um, it was easier for her to um, move about and, you know, to be considered what they call beautiful. So, you know, she do explain to me. Um, that there's a big bias. Sometimes it's, it's, it's an unconscious bias that, you know, people have in the Philippines, the lighter you are, they figure the, the more beautiful you are, the darker you are, the less opportunity that you have, you know, to get hired in certain type of position, which and I think to me, you know, I, I can't say I haven't heard about that. You know, I live here in America. I mean, we do have this black and white issue here. So it's kind of like similar to that. But I just never thought that you could be from the same country, the same group of people. And it's just that because one group is lighter than the other, um, the lighter group get the preferential treatment while the darker group, then you, you, you take what you what you can get. So. That's really it about us. Like I say, you know, I don't want to keep rambling on too much about, you know, too much on this video here. I just wanted to talk about what we and my wife do. Um, we'll bring out another video talking about how we met. But, you know, I already did a video like that. And if you guys are really interested to see that video, it wasn't really one of my best video. It was a little shaky when I started walking down on the rocks. But the video name is how I, how I met my beautiful Filipino lady. I think you guys will definitely enjoy that video if you are interested in watching it. But anyway, man, I'm going to cut this video here short, you know. Just wanted to give a short introduction of who we are and what we do. All right. So anyway, man, thanks again for all my brand new subscribers. And hopefully you guys are going to be staying along with us. You know, we'll try to bring out some different videos, different content. And we'll see you guys on the next go around, all right? All right, man. As always, you guys know what it is with me, man. It is always peace and love, man. Peace and love. Peace on out. Peace on out.